Today I'm going to show you how to use perplexity for keyword research and there's one main reason we would do this that is to save money. If you use SEMrush you're looking at $139 a month minimum and if you use Moz you're looking at a minimum of $99 a month and this goes up to like $500 a month depending on which plan you're on. But with perplexity we can do a pretty good job for free so let's take a look. Alrighty, to be able to follow along with what I'm doing today, you just need a Perplexity account. The free one is fine. You need access to Google Sheet or Excel. And you'll also need your favorite AI chat, whether that's Claude or OpenAI. Now, we're going to be asking Perplexity to generate a bunch of keywords, but they're different types of keywords. We're going to be asking for main keywords, long tail keywords, natural language keywords, FAQ keywords and related keywords. So we'll start with the main keywords and these are keywords that are really important to the to the subject matter and if we look at the example I've got here basically if it's pizza we're looking for pizza, a pizza recipe, pizza delivery, this kind of search. So to do the search I have generated a bunch of prompts. Now all of these prompts will be in the description of the video so you can grab them and use them. The only thing you need to do is change the keyword. For this example, we're going to be using N8N automation, but you change that to whatever you like. So I'm going to copy this. Then we'll go over to perplexity, paste it in, and we'll see what it returns for us. So just like that, for N8N automation, we get an amazing list of main keywords around our primary keyword. So N8N workflow automation, integration, tutorials versus Zapier, and we get estimated search volume, difficulty, and, and the search intent. This data, it, it's probably not quite as accurate as like Google Keywords perhaps or SEMrush, but it's pretty close and for free, it's fantastic. So. Now that we've got our main keywords returned, we want to get our long tail keywords. And by long tail, I mean like more descriptive keywords. So if we take the example of our pizza again, we might go for something like how to make homemade pizza dough, the best pizza places near me late at night, and that type of thing. I've got another prompt for that. We can run it. So we put this one in again. This is going to return our long tail keywords. And you can see it's using various sources like Reddit, all the available recent sources that it can get its hands on. And that's the beauty of perplexity. So again, for our long tail keywords, we've got the long tail key phrase, volume, difficulty, and search intent. So we're starting to build up quite a bit of information around our primary keyword here, N8N automation. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain all of this together to create a really good data set that we can use to generate content around, get more clicks to sell our product or our service. The next type of keyword we're going to go after is the natural language. A lot of people these days are using Siri or voice input. And by doing natural language keyword research, we can capture some of those search terms that are going into Google and the like. Again, I will copy the prompt I've got prepared, which you can grab in the description. Back over to perplexity, we'll put this one in. And this has returned some really good ones here. What does N8N automation, what is it and how does it work? These are all common questions. This, this particular topic has exploded recently, so there's quite a lot of active searches. Next, we're going to go after FAQ. So these are common questions that people are asking and they often start with what, how, why and where. So, you know, what is a pizza made of? How long does it last in the fridge? And that type of thing. So let's grab the prompt for FAQ. Back to perplexity, we'll just paste it in here. Okay, so you can see it's returned all these top questions that are getting asked. You know, what is N8N automation and how does it work? How do I get started with N8N automation? And if you can answer this in a very succinct piece of content, you also can potentially answer in the featured snippet, which is the top of, top of search, or even better in 2025 in the generated AI response. So now we have FAQ. 
we are going to do related keywords. These are connected to your main topic. And as the example shows here, it's a bit like, you know, cousins in, in the word family. So it might be Italian food, cheese, tomato sauce, oven baking, and that type of thing. Okay, so we'll copy our related keyword prompt here. Back into perplexity, paste it in. Let's go. Okay, so we've got about 20, 25 related keywords for N8N automation, and that completes the five types of keywords that we're chasing. So here's a cheat sheet as to why these keywords matter. Your main keywords, they're like a big sign out the front of your store that says, this is what my site is about. Long tail keywords, they're like specific directions to take people to exactly where they want to be on your site. Natural language is like having a friendly customer service person. FAQ is like having a fantastic help desk. And related keywords, these are smaller signs that just let people know you're in the right place. Now that we have all this data, we need to put it in a format that's structured and usable. So I have a prompt here that you can copy. And basically, I'm just going to ask Claude to put the data into a structured format that's usable. So I'm just going to copy this here, paste it into Claude. And then over on Perplexity, we just grab all the data, copy it, paste it in, and see what we get back. Claude has analyzed it and returned it in like a table CSV kind of format. So we can copy this now. We'll go over to a Google Sheet and we can just paste it in. And with a bit of formatting, we now have a fantastic data set around our keyword that we can use to generate all sorts of content that we know users are looking for. It has search volume and we're answering questions and it's going to rank. Now, just one thing to be aware of, when you take this data out of perplexity and put it into Claude or OpenAI or any AI, it tends to change the numbers and the keywords and they don't match. So if you actually went and tried to tick them all off, you're going to find the volumes and the phrase data is similar, but not the same. To get around that, I do have an alternative way of doing this. It's a little bit quicker, but there is a small cost associated with it, but I'll show you in case you want to try this method. What I've done here is put the entire process that we've just gone through in this top section up here. All the calls to perplexity are done using an API and we chain all the responses together and then we combine the responses and put them into a Google Sheet. So if I go back to a Google Sheet, I've got a different tab here. This is completely empty. What I'm going to do is open up this one here, where, which is where we can set the topic or N8N automation. If I press go on this, you can see what happens. Okay, so we just got notification that that process for this top section is now complete. So if we go back to our Google Sheet, here it is. Here is all of our data available. And this is an exact match of what's in perplexity. There is no hallucinations, if you like, from AI. So what we got there is what we're seeing now. And the other thing that's happening in the background is obviously you want to generate content. That's the entire point. So what I've done here in this N8N automation is hooked up this lower section. And what's happening here in the filter, for example, I've just said filter on FAQ. So out of our list, it's knocked out 85 items. It's kept 18. And now we're going to generate content on all of these FAQ questions like what is N8N automation, etc. And I just got a notification then that this has been completed. And the very end point here is WordPress. So if I open up WordPress, here is the article. So in addition to using perplexity for our keyword research, if you want to, you can hook this into N8N and quite easily complete the flow and automate the whole process end to end and generate content around main keywords, long tail, FAQ, semantic, related, whatever you like. So if you would like to try the automation, just head over to Online Ninja. The link is in the description. When you're in the classroom, you'll find it here. Keyword research with perplexity. And this file here, you basically just download it and you import it into N8N, import from file, and you'll get exactly what you're looking at here. And a couple of clicks, you can start doing that keyword research and generating the content. 
I hope you've got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.